Well, Joker's Jinx is a special category of rides. It's a roller coaster, but it's more than that. It's a linear induction motor roller coaster. And what that means is at the beginning of the ride, rather than the old traditional hill approach where the vehicle would be taken up a hill by a chain lift and then dropped over, these rides of this caliber, they start immediately. Joker's Jinx, when you get on the ride, they hit a launch button. You have a nine-ton train that's accelerated from zero to 60 miles an hour in just over three seconds. Linear induction motor technology is technology that uses motors which instead of having rotary motion, they're actually laid out flat. And what we do is we apply a significant amount of electricity. Well, the equipment that you see here on the side of the building is equipment that's designed to generate about the equivalent of 5,000 horsepower of energy going into the system. And what happens is we create a tremendously powerful magnetic wave down the launch tunnel. And the vehicle, if you look at the side, has aluminum fins on it, very lightweight fins. And those fins run inside these horizontal motors. And they, they literally, the best way to describe it is you're surfing this very powerful magnetic wave. And it's the magnetic wave which carries the vehicle forward. So you have no moving parts. Nothing is actually physically touching it except for this magnetic wave. Linear induction motor technology up till now has been one of those technologies that's been more looked upon for applications in the military environment or in the space program. Uh, for example, with NASA, they're looking at taking linear induction motor technology and using that to give the boost to the space shuttles. Booster ignition and liftoff. Instead of having these chemical rockets, you can use this magnetic wave technology. In the military, they're looking at using the technology on aircraft carriers, for example. So instead of the planes having these steam catapult launch systems, you'll use one of these limb catapult launch systems, which are actually lighter in weight, which is very important on shipboard applications. There's different types of technology for linear accelerated systems. This is a linear induction motor system. And there is another type of system, which is a linear synchronous motor system. And they're both the different types of technology, each that has certain benefits. And this type of technology is very good because there's no moving parts. It's very easy to maintain. And it gives a tremendous amount of energy right in the beginning. So you get that real, you know, slam you back into the seat, kind of like NASA rocket aircraft takeoff. What's important on these rides, like the Joker's Jinx here at Six Flags America, is that the ride itself is what's important. The technology that goes into the ride is what maybe makes the ride have the ability of being this cutting edge, thrilling, innovative attraction. But what, what we want to see is technology used to make a story, and it used to make a ride. You know, the ride isn't for technology's sake, it's for a story. And so you'll see advanced uses of technology getting into rides as it becomes more and more available. The industry is so competitive that companies like Six Flags, they like to be the ones that have the first and most powerful projects out in the open. We've been approached by several companies and we're actually working on several projects right now where we're incorporating the knowledge we've gained from the applications like the Joker's Jinx and using that knowledge, you know, hopefully to be able to do some work with the military on projects like I was talking about, the naval aircraft launch systems.